People have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do, staring into the blue sky and just waiting for a sign. Some, they are certain of what awaits them when it all ends. But I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in a century? Good morning guys gosh I look so pale I need to go and put some makeup on um, so I've just done my morning Instagram live workout um, I was absolutely horrific this morning I don't know what's wrong with me my legs just wouldn't go it is Monday I suppose um, yeah so I do that every single morning on Instagram at 8 30 in the morning it's just literally like a 10 minute workout I really really enjoy it this is my seventh week of doing it now and I definitely definitely feel a difference. Sometimes when I look in the mirror, I even think I can maybe tell a difference. Anyway, um, today I thought I would film our, like a day in the life video because um, lots of you have been asking me how we have been homeschooling the kids and I just thought I would show you our take on what we do. We're quite relaxed. The kids do six subjects a day, but just for like half an hour each or for however long it takes them to do the work we've set. And then what we have found works really, really well is they earn screen time. So they start the day off with zero screen time and for every um, bit of work they do so for every um, subject which I said they do six of they can earn up to 10 minutes depending how well they do the subject so if they concentrate really really well then they get the full 10 minutes I don't mind if they get things wrong that doesn't count because obviously they're learning it's just basically all about their concentration. So we usually do like two subjects a break, two subjects a break, and then two subjects. And um, last week it did work really well. So I'm going to show you how we are doing it this week. We also do get help from my mum and dad. So they live over in Spain and they're really, really missing the kids. So I said to them, do you want to start helping out with homeschooling? So every evening my mum sends through um, 20 maths questions for each of them and then that's the first thing we do every morning well they do a Joe Weeks workout which they're just waiting to do now and then we do the maths questions with them and then later on my mum rings at 11:30 and does a 15 question general knowledge quiz with them as well so that helps out so much I can't tell you and she loves doing it she just facetimes the boys and they just have a little bit of banter between them but also the kids are learning while they're doing it I'm just going to change my battery hold on right so while I was changing over my battery Chris has said to me like oh my gosh you sound really strict like you do six subjects but they're all half an hour short bursts and also the six subjects include things like reading a book for half an hour to themselves or reading out loud to us it includes Joe Wicks's PE so it's not like we sit there <laughs> for ages and um, make them graft and graft and graft and also obviously it includes our mum's quiz so that is three of the subjects that are quite chilled out and like I said every subject they do they can earn up to 10 minutes of screen time I think it works really well for our kids obviously ours are seven and nine so it might not work for yours if yours are younger but it's quite a good incentive for my kids at least I'm gonna go upstairs and just put my makeup on um, and then come downstairs and crack on with work. Let's go upstairs and get some makeup on. dressed um, the boys are just finishing off with Joe Wicks it was so cute today actually because obviously he's got a sore hand um, his wife was doing it and it's really really sweet anyway the boys are having their second breakfast now once they're finished they're having a piece of toast I haven't actually even had breakfast yet I'm gonna have um oh, I haven't got any eggs I'm not sure what to have I might just have a piece of toast I'm really trying to be good. I feel like the first few weeks of lockdown, I was so bad. So I'm either gonna have a piece of toast or I might make myself a little bit of porridge. But what we're having for dinner, I did a job for Donald Russell the other day and they sent me a big um, parcel of loads of their meats. Their meat is amazing. Um, so I have got these sausages out. So I've got two packs of their pork sausages out. They're four in a pack. And the boys, I know I always make toad in the hole, but the boys just love it. It's their favorite dinner ever. So I'm going to make that for dinner tonight. I think you boys did really well, but you did mess around a little bit. 
gosh. Um, because we did do good, good at the Might end. we do nine minutes because you no. did you did injure Jamie nine on half. purpose. No, nine minutes. They both earned nine minutes today because Rory injured Jamie on purpose. And then Jamie milked the injury for quite a long time and was rolling around the floor for a while. So you got nine minutes today. So I'm going to write that down. You got in their first subject, nine minutes. So um, I'll let you know what they get by the end of the day. Change of plan. I'm having um, jam on toast. Look at this day. It's just such a nice day out there. Look at it. And look at our garden as well. I mean, you can still really see the difference in the grass, but it's looking so good. And I just still love this patio so much. I want to get some like a little sofa set for here so it's like a nice cozy area to sit because this is where the sun sort of sets in the evening in our garden. But look what a difference this has made that we've put all grass here instead of all those bushes. It's just such a humongous difference. We've added so much extra space to our garden. I love it. Just needs to blend a little bit more. <laughs> we've just finished our maths um, session and now the boys are on the sofa doing some reading to themselves. So they've earned another 10 minutes and now they are reading. Another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes and now they're reading for a further 10 minutes. And they got half an hour of reading. So I'll probably take each one like away for 10 minutes and so they can read to me. But we've had a bit of a change of plan because <laughs> my brother and his wife are expecting a baby. She's overdue by a week now. And um, today she had a midwife, uh, midwife, a midwife appointment at 9.45 and they were going to decide if they were going to induce her or not. And they just took her blood pressure and and her blood pressure's up, so they want to induce her. So she has to go into hospital, and the plan is that we're having their two-year-old Arthur while she's in labor, so my brother can be with her. So he's just called to say, she's going into hospital, can he drop Arthur off here? So it is half past 10, and he said he'll be here in about an hour. So I think in about an hour, our homeschooling will officially end because we'll have a two-year-old to look after. Um, the boys are quite excited about that because it means they can- and then we get to watch Cars. Yeah, we get, Arthur's obsessed with Cars. So as our screen time today, we said we were going to watch the movie Cars oh. together. Um, you can, yeah, but maybe when Arthur's asleep, you can have a little bit of screen time on your device as well, okay? And every day, um, we get to watch Cars. Not every day. Yeah. But we're gonna, you love Cars, don't you? So we're gonna show Arthur, because he's never watched Cars before. And I've got... And I don't think you two are doing much reading. And we're gonna watch Planes. And you're gonna watch Planes. So basically, um, I don't know how homeschooling is going to go this week, because last time when she had Arthur, she was in hospital for a week. It took her so long to be induced. So obviously my brother isn't allowed to be with her while she's being induced because of the coronavirus. He um, is only allowed to go in when she's in active labor. So um, I just said to my brother, just bring Arthur here. And then, because obviously he might get called at like two in the morning. So I said, just bring him here, we'll have him. And then you can go in whenever you need to without them thinking, oh, I need to get Arthur to me and so on and so on. So that is what's happening now. So very soon you'll see my, he's so cute. You'll see my little nephew. Um, and then I'm going to be a mother of a two year old for a little while this week. I just wanted to show you the boys doing the quiz with my mum. It's really cute. They always come upstairs so they're away from me. But this is what they do. They love it. They, like I was saying, they go upstairs so that I can't see what they're doing or hear what they're saying. And then when they come downstairs, I always say to my mum, what would you give them out of 10? And then she gives them their um, minutes to see how well they have been doing. Right, so it is 11.40. I thought I might get um, lunch on the go, just so it's ready for whenever the boys want it. Like, we normally do eat about half past 12, but um, while they're upstairs with my mum, I thought I would just start it. So I'm going to do a um, cheats carbonara today. It's so easy, it's so simple, and it's honestly delicious. So um, down here, I'll show you what I've got. I have got um, spaghetti. I just put the whole 500 grams. I have got some bacon here, and I've got this soft cheese. Um, this is a garlic and herb soft cheese, which is really great. It makes it even more cheatified because you don't even have to chop up any garlic or anything like that, or put any um, sort of like seasoning in there because it's got the garlic and the herbs in this one little um, 
box. What's this called? Carton. Um, and then what I do to make it saucy, I add about 200 mils of veg stock in here as well. So I literally just chop up the bacon into little bits and then fry that off till it gets nice and crispy. And then I add in this whole tub of um, soft cheese plus 200 mils of my veggie stock. And then that is my sauce. Once my pasta's ready, I add it into the sauce, mix it all together and serve it up. Super easy and super delicious. Honestly, I bet once you try this out once, you'll be making it quite often for your family. What did they earn out of 10? How many, how many minutes did they earn there? Uh, well, out of 10, probably about four. Four, <laughs> for the behavior, but they did they did do very well with their questions because their questions were a little bit harder today. Okay, so what would you give them overall? Uh, overall, uh, six. Six? So your behaviour wasn't that good today. They've been a bit like that with everything today. They're not, you haven't earned many, many minutes today, boys. Look who I've got! <laughs> He's saying cheese, he thinks I'm taking a photo. So I've got dropped off about 12 o'clock and it's now half past one. We've had our lunch and it's now no, no, it's time in it, isn't it? Yeah. Should we go and find Cuddly Pete? Yeah. Yeah, should we go and use the big boy toilet first? Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to put him to sleep and then he has about an hour and a half sleep and then we are going to go for a nice little walk, aren't we? Is your mummy having a baby? Are you going to have a baby sister? <gasps> are you going to have a baby sister? Are you going to be a big boy? My mummy's in the baby lady. Your mum's in the baby lady? Yeah. <laughs> His mum's in the baby lady. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to pop him to bed now and then um, the boy's going to do a little bit more homeschooling and then we're going to go out for a nice little family walk with my baby nephew, Arthur. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> How are you doing? Chris is just sorting out the front of our house because we did our garden. We got a skip, but that didn't fit in the skip. Um, so we need to sort it all out and all of these bits here. So he's just chopping it all up. This is going to be for our friends because they've got a log fire. So we're going to give it to them. They can come and just collect it. So we're just piling it up here so they can do that. Got a couple. You've done quite a lot, actually. Just made you a nice little coffee. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely, thank you. And then we need to de-weed these and get rid of all this. So the front of our house looks quite messy at the moment, but we're going to sort that out. Right, now Arthur is up and awake. We're going to go for a walk, aren't we? We're going to take Lulu for walkies. You're going to take Lulu for walkies? With Rory and JJ, aren't we? We're going to go for walkies. My You're going to take a skateboard? I don't think we can take the skateboard where we're going though, bubs. It's all grassy. Yep. They're all having a water biscuit as their snack. Also, I told you I was going to do um, toad in the hole for dinner tonight. I can't. I don't have any eggs. My, my, so I'm just going to do sausage my, and mash. My, my now, sausage and mash and with peas and gravy. And <laughs> Delicious, right? <laughs> so that's what we're having for dinner. Have toad in the hole fun? Um, I don't even need sausages I, for tomorrow. I'll do Toad in the Hole another day. It's their favourite. They just want Toad in the Hole all the time. Anyway, we're going to go on a nice little walk now. Chris is going to stay here and carry on tidying up the front of the house while we go with, well, I go with all the boys and Lulu. Um, and then we'll come back home for some dinner. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you how many minutes the boys earned in homeschooling. We only managed to do five of our six lessons because um, Arthur arrived. So they earned 40 minutes each on their devices because... We haven't had our 40 minutes. No, you've had 20 minutes so far, haven't you? All oh, right, that's it, gun in my face. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> right, let's go. Walking. You ready, boys? <laughs> and running and rugby tackles didn't he that now he's exhausted so we're having to have a little carry on we are and and he's exhausted <laughs> same as me <laughs> they've been running 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 haven't you <laughs> so much running and now you're so tired he wants to go on rory's shoulders <laughs> rory's 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at this! this. <laughs> wow! Wait, you're right, bro. <laughs> You're a bit heavy, bub. So take no. them off. You okay? Whoa! Back from my walk, dinner. Whoa! Real wind swept out there. Um, dinner is ready. Look at these sausages. Like I said, these are the ones from um, Donald Russell when I did my collaboration with them on Instagram. They look absolutely amazing. So I've got for all five of us. This is Art's dinner. Um, and then I've also got some peas cooking away here. I think they're pretty much ready now, so I can serve up and we can all have dinner together. Arthur's being so cute. Like the boys are so good with him. Bless him. Everything Arthur says they have to do, they're just doing. <laughs> and um, yeah, they're just having the best time. It's so, so sweet. I've done my big mouthful. Oh, good boy. Good boy. You for me, big boy, ready? And did you, Jane? Um, Good boy. Oh, you could just sit where Daddy's sitting if you wanted. Right, it's now bedtime for the boys, and it's so cute. The two, um, Rory and Jamie, my two, our two, are reading Arthur a little bedtime story. Chris just went in and went, "Oh, that's so cute," and then he said, "Should we have another one?" Absolutely not. <laughs> you just said that. No, but I was like sarcastic. Yeah, but you do. That's Sarcasm. cute. You do think that's cute. It's cute, but we can give him back. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's very true. It's actually been really nice having him, but the boys are just in there now reading him two stories, one story each, and then he's going to go to sleep. It's like eight o'clock. We're already like an hour behind his schedule. I'm probably going to get told off by his mother. But anyway. Just then, Pepper says, I can see Granddad Dog. Where, look, Arthur, where's it? Where, can you see a yellow beak? Yay. Yay! Right, so after the boys helped put Arthur to bed by reading him a bedtime story, I forgot to vlog anymore. <laughs> but basically that was the end of the night. The boys then went to bed and then I had a shower and Chris and I started watching... Afterlife. Afterlife. We saw the first one. It's with Ricky Gervais. It's really, really funny if you haven't seen it. Um, this is the second series, so we just started watching that tonight. We watched three episodes. They're just like 25 minutes each episode, so it's a really good length. And then we've come up to bed. It's 10 o'clock now. Arthur sleeps really, really well. He sleeps from like, he went to bed at eight tonight, so we did have a bit of a late night. Um, and then he'll sleep through till like seven tomorrow morning. I just went in to check on him and his like travel cot, the legs kind of stick out a little bit like this. So I went in to have a look at him and I kicked one of the legs and it woke him up and then he sort of like quickly grabbed his dummy and his and his bear and sat up to try and get up thinking it was like time to wake up and then bless him he looked at his grow clock and the moon was still on it and then he just slid back down <laughs> and went back to sleep he's so cute thanks so much for watching today guys and i will see you next time bye